aura analysis. So this is looking more at his emotional and energetic state. With intention and presence, it's giving us this beautiful picture with lots of colors. Now we're going to go into the analysis. Some of the chakras are really balanced, but when we start to see some that are a little bit lower, that can be where there's some energetic blocks. Start the analysis and again, he's going to hold an intention of my aura is strong and stable. My root chakra right now is 78%. The person is trying to integrate two different contradictory aspects into his occupation, life, demands, and decision. Oh. This is so true. Yes, when Max uploads his photo into this app and focuses with intention, it analyzes his aura, diagnoses his chakras, and even gives life advice. But wait, there's more. Click on vibrate. You'll see it moving through all the chakras. It's almost like it gives like... Vibration. Positive affirmations is kind of what it's doing. Yes. Yeah. Nothing you feel in your physical body, but it's changing things in my information field. Eventually it will have subtle changes on my aura and my energy field. Yeah, it sends affirmations into this field to help with energetic blocks. Question, how do we know it isn't just pumping out random numbers? If you run it back to back, will it produce the same results? Your auras are changing all the time, right? Your energy level, depending on what state and time and day you are, your aura will be changing. Ah, so there's no way to know if it actually works. Smart. But if you're still not convinced, Max wants you to know this. This feels great, guys. Just be true to yourself, be true to the world. You know, honesty, truth, one of my highest values also. Yeah. Apart from the app, Healy also sell a device. And today we'll expose some overtly misleading claims about it. Everything from improving your immunity, to finding a lost dog, and even healing a car. Some of the more serious claims pose considerable risk to people's health and financial freedom. And that's why today, Healy is on Vulture Watch. The Healy device comes with electrodes that transmit microcurrents through your body, and you can choose from hundreds of frequency programs. For instance, loading the skin program will generate frequencies that apparently benefit your skin. This is generally known as bioresonance healing, and here's how it's claimed to work. Everything is energy. Everything has a frequency. A frequency is ultimately just the language in which energy speaks to each other, actually. A bacterial infection, right? That bacterial infection is emitting a certain frequency out into your bioenergetic field and then to the information field. Healy, or any other tool, if you like, it's listening, if you like, to the, to the song that that bacterial infection is singing and going, oh, hang on, that's not a song we want inside that body, and it sends back to you. Uh, the song that will get rid of that bacterial infection, if you like. Incredible. Yeah, it is incredible. Wanting to learn more about songs of bacteria, I searched Healy's website for evidence. They claim many studies confirm safety of their method, but don't actually mention any of them. But they do name two scientists. Professor Becker, orthopedic surgeon, no physics or research background, made wild theories about electropollution and even suggested that electricity is a conspiracy. He claimed the current from your wall socket isn't used up at all, goes straight back to the power station through the ground. Professor Nordenstam, a respected radiologist until he likened blood vessels to electric cables and claimed to cure cancer with currents. When asked for evidence instead of submitting his work for peer review, he wrote his own textbook saying his theories were too complex for the scientific community. Back to the website. Here are some false claims about cells, a bit about their founders, and that's it. No clinical trials or case studies to support songs of bacteria. So then I searched the user manual and found what is possibly the most scientifically flawed page in all of history. Okay, I exaggerate, but let's look at the main claims here. Claim one, humans are only as healthy as their cells. This is reductionism because there are many other factors that affect health. Claim two, cell health can therefore be determined by its membrane voltage. Hang on, where did they therefore from? Again, this is an oversimplification. The membrane voltage is one of many indicators of cell health. It's not the only one. Claim three, this graph. It says a healthy cell has a voltage of minus 70 millivolts, which is true for some cells, but not for others. Liver cells, for instance, have shown to be around minus 37 millivolts. And yes, a dead cell produces no voltage, but that doesn't mean there is any evidence for any of these in between. It's a classic line drawing fallacy. Also, they simply say this is according to Becker and Nordenstrom, but provide no actual reference. So how did they come up with this graph? Claim four, electrical frequencies are the language of cells. Ah, finally, the songs of bacteria. 
But where did frequency come from? We were talking about potentials. This is yet another absurdly false claim. There is no evidence that links frequencies to membrane potentials in this way. And claim five, of course, is that Healy supports this membrane voltage with their frequency programs, implying that it improves cell health and thereby the overall health of the user. So in summary, all five central science claims behind the Healy are simply fallacies. It all reads a bit like a school assignment done in the very last minute. Now later on in the manual, they do cite 33 case studies, but most of them are unrelated to their claims and the rest are either outdated or refuted by reliable sources. Healy themselves admit these studies don't comply with conventional medicine because of the so-called gold standard, which they whinge about. We're talking about people's lives here. A gold standard is what ensures treatments are safe, effective, with minimal side effects. This is only an issue for those who try to sell quackery as medicine. Speaking of which, Healy's founder, Marcus Schmieker, apparently studied physics, Vedic philosophy, and architecture, but claims no formal qualifications. He's written more than 20 books, mostly on feng shui and Hindu rituals, and also wrote articles like this, where he fabricates impossible relationships between general relativity, consciousness, and quantum physics. He even claims evidence for reincarnation. Harnessing all of his spiritual wisdom though, Marcus invented information field technology, postulating that we all have a bioenergetic field that's part of an all permeating quantum information field, which can be hacked using frequencies. And that's how Time Waver, the prototype behind Healy, was born. Another key Healy pioneer is Nuno Nina, the man behind the frequencies. He holds suspiciously niche degrees in completely unrelated fields, and his videos aptly start with a disclaimer that his theories lack scientific validation. Now Marcus and Nuno are the only ones who appear on their website, but in sales seminars, Healy reveal more experts. Who else is behind Healy? There's a massive science board. And when I looked at this, their titles here and you know who these people are, I just had this realization. I was like, oh, finally, there's a, there's a, there's a company that is doing it the holistic way. Finally, something I can trust, a holistic medical advisor board. Let's take a closer look though. Carolyn McMacken is a chiropractic doctor so not a medical doctor, and considers herself a pioneer in frequency therapy. It's unclear if Ludwig Jacob is a doctor, but he does sell unproven products like Chi Coffee for balance and pomegranate elixir for prostate issues. Faulkner Meisner provides magical therapies, and this is an actual screenshot from his website. Liana Barnos practices quantum healing. Song Sai is a natural remedy professor at Shanghua Christian Hospital in Taiwan, the same hospital that treated hundreds of COVID patients with an unproven herbal concoction called Respire Aid without any supporting evidence. Iwa Bartush is a traditional Chinese medicine practitioner who uses Time Waver. Nita Shah is a homeopath, enough said. If you want to know why homeopathy is delusional, check out this video. So out of eight members on Healy's medical board, not a single one seems to practice actual medicine. Speaking of dodgy claims, meet Healy's investor, alleged multi-billionaire, Christian Halper. We have Christian Halper, and I, I really love to know where the money comes from because that's ultimately the intention of the company. And here we have this conscious billionaire who's really supportive of the R&D, of the future technology of frequencies. And so we have such an incredible bright future. Okay. Halper is not recognized by Superfund as a founder. They say he resigned from the company as a partner, and the actual founder assumed full ownership. Also, is he really a multi-billionaire? Let's see, he sold his shares for hundreds of millions, owns a restaurant in Vienna, does not appear on the Forbes billionaires list, has 368 followers on Twitter, where he promotes astrology and the Healy. Now, I'm not saying he's not a multi-billionaire, I'm just saying it's incredible that anyone could think that he is. I mean, he doesn't get a single mention on their website. And that might be because there are regulations around making misleading claims when selling a health product. To bring a product like this to market, you will need clearance from a government health authority. Shockingly, the FDA in the US can give a 510k clearance, even if the device does not work. It only needs to be similar to a device that's already approved. So the creators of Healy claim similarity to a TENS device, which uses electrical nerve stimulation for pain relief. But TENS devices themselves don't have sufficient evidence to claim effectiveness. And even if they did, they operate at much larger currents compared to the Healy. The FDA don't consider these details. So in 2019, they cleared the sale of Healy for pain management. Here in Australia, the TGA accepts approvals from the FDA as valid documents. In May 2020, Healy was added to the Australian Register of Therapeutic Goods as an analgesic TENS system. Again, no reasonable evidence that it actually helps with pain relief. To be fair, the TGA also places conditions including an advertising code that penalizes those who make misleading claims. 
Just this month, Healy World Australia were fined over $26,000 for breaching this act by falsely advertising about depression and anxiety benefits. Of course, this is not a really hefty penalty, but it can act as a deterrent. These rules are the reason Healy must show disclaimers like this, potentially also why this graph or these people or this claim cannot be made on their website. But all of these can and do appear as testimonial advice from users because the authorities can't really regulate individuals from sharing their views. And so a major chunk of Healy's advertising is actually carried out by their users. But what's in it for them? One of the critical things about buying a Healy is that you cannot do it without a referral link from an existing member. And here's why. This is Anne. Anne's telling other people about Healy's technology. Because every time someone Anne shares the Healy message with, purchases, upgrades, or gets a subscription, their purchase is linked to an amount of bonus volume that provides an earning opportunity. Anne is really excited, gaining progress throughout the Healy career path ranks. Her work is paying off. She focuses on achieving the rank of team manager. This allows Anne to earn an extra bonus the first time she achieves each rank. Anne has made it her goal to achieve the rank of executive president, which pays a 250,000 euro rank advancement bonus. Anne's future is bright. Her next milestone is to reach the rank of director and keep going up, unlocking the ninth and 10th ways to earn. As Anne continues to achieve higher ranks, her leadership check matches get deeper in her organization. And you could be doing this too, starting right now. Actually, right now what you need is to get that annoying tune out of your head. I suggest reading this sobering 22-page compensation plan full of complicated commission schemes and you might just get confused enough to go buy one of these. And then you'll harass your family and friends to buy from you. And soon you'll be jumping through hoops trying to win a system that has been rigged to work against you. At least, that's the idea. That's why these compensation plans are so complicated. They don't want you to figure out the dismal odds of actually making any money. MLMs are one of the most deceptive models of business out there. Members are driven by a dangling commission carrot and a sunk cost fallacy stick, desperately trying to recuperate thousands of dollars they have spent. Based on this MLM study, on average, 99.6% of all members will lose money after expenses. But for Healy, this is great news because one might say nothing boosts sales like ignorant desperation. You get home from work and you're sort of thinking, I've got that heavy, heavy throat or you've got a headache or you feel like you're getting a cold. If you run immune system within four to six hours of those symptoms starting, um, you'll knock it on the head. Anything from lungs to liver function, um, you can use it to protect yourself from cell fronts, from electrosmog, be more balanced in certain planetary alignment issues. You know, everyone's always freaked out about Mercury's in retrograde. Well, we have a program to help you with that, okay? And the bioenergetic sport, uh, we'll say it's, specifically a program designed for the current worldwide environment we see each, we see ourselves in and that's all i'm going to say about that you do not have, need to have the healy in your field uh, once you have a client's information in here and their uh, vibration recorded you can send to them anywhere so like my daughter i can work on her while she's at school not a problem i have a son that's in college on the other side of the state um, i work on him daily and he can feel the vibrations. A dog that actually got lost in a park. I came to the idea of trying to use the Healy to find Cleo. So I added in her information and we could just record the aura. Now, you see the aura, we can have a look at the analysis, delete the elements, to be found safe and sound. So here we go, we start vibrating. 13 minutes into this frequency, she ran back to the car. This machine can do a lot of things. Since then, we've also healed a car. We found another dog and we've brought a lot of manifestations into our lives. Wow, they healed a car. Now these videos are public, open for scrutiny by anyone. Wait till you see the more dangerous claims made in private Facebook groups where posts and comments are moderated by admins who all happen to be Healy entrepreneurs, one of whom we've already met. So you will struggle to find anything other than positive testimonials in these groups. Here's someone claiming they dropped medication because the Healy brought back normal kidney, liver, and thyroid functions. Here's an anti-vaxxer asking how to use the Healy to release toxins from a vaccine out of her children. Here's a claim that Alzheimer's has been treated by frequency therapy. The same member claims the Healy cured a hangover and helped concentration for gaming. But it does get more dangerous than that. I was eating peanut butter and chocolate. 
ice cream. Now, I've been allergic to peanuts my entire life. It makes my, my tongue uh, and my throat swell up. It's funny that I was running the allergy programs the exact same day, I didn't get a reaction whatsoever. So that's a bit of my experience for that Healy uh, allergy of Meridian. Just imagine the damage this would cause someone with an actual peanut allergy. But it's not just the misinformation, it's also the intimidation and mobbing. Here's a post from my mother. Let's call her Sandra. Sandra's daughter had an allergic reaction to pineapple. She ran scans on the Healy, but it didn't diagnose the allergy. Disappointed with the Healy, she sought pediatric care and her child was treated by a doctor. Now, the comments. This person says they would have tried a couple of other programs on the Healy before taking the child anywhere. And when Sandra says she didn't understand why the skin support program didn't work, this member chides her. Does it matter? Why didn't you try them on her to see before going to the doctor? Sandra explains that she did and shares a screenshot, only to then be advised to blindly trust the Healy, to which Sandra responds, thanks, I will try moving forward. So if Sandra's child has another attack, she will likely try hundreds of programs on her Healy before seeing a doctor. Now, if you think I cherry picked Sandra, I urge you to join one of these groups and witness for yourself how rampant this kind of thing is. And while hives are generally not fatal, given the anti-vax sentiments and the open hate towards anyone seeking medical advice, one cannot deny the risk of a fatal case due to the misinformation being spread in these groups. Here in Australia in 1999, Mitchell James Little was born with a heart defect that required immediate surgery. His parents consulted Reginald Harold Fenn, a naturopath who administered some herbal drops and used a Mora machine on the baby. This works on similar bioresonance claims as the Healy. Fenn then declared the baby had been cured and advised the parents against the surgery. So trusting were the parents that they cancelled the surgery and although doctors eventually convinced them to reschedule, it was too late. Mitchell was 18 days old. Yet another innocent life lost to pseudoscience. Unfortunately, a significant population blindly fall for terms like quantum, frequency healing, or idioms like we're all just energy. They're educated enough to trust sciencey words, but not quite enough to distinguish science from pseudoscience. I like to call this the Deepak zone, and it's a perfect market for healing. So let's get a few obvious points out of the way. There is no evidence whatsoever for the existence of auras or chakras. There are no sound theories or reasonable data to support microcurrent frequency therapy or information field technology or any of the fanciful claims we looked at today. Any positive effects experienced are either placebo or other factors. Now to a couple of not so obvious points. Apart from selling an unscientific product, Healy are empowering exploiters to make misleading claims, spread toxic ideas and sell false hopes to uninformed victims. The health and financial security of many such people are being jeopardised for profits. So what can you do to help? Remember that penalty Healy Australia was slapped with? That happened because a handful of diligent individuals from organisations like FSM documented false claims made by Healy and reported it to the TGA. And so when you see an ad or a social media post that makes suspicious claims about any therapeutic product, you too can submit a complaint. It only takes a few minutes and it could stop more victimisation. With such actions, we can implore health authorities around the world to revoke listings of these products and put an end to such exploitation. Another meaningful way in which you can help is with awareness. If someone you know is a Healy member or is being exploited by other irrational therapies, please send them this video. And if you're one yourself, I sincerely hope I've made a strong case for you to cut your losses and walk away from such nonsense today. Thank you for watching, Vulture Watch.